my name is Irene Lara and I started Stanford as an undergraduate the fall of 1991. Uh, I'm at my first Stanford reunion, my 20th year Stanford reunion, class of 1995. And I've been thinking about my first year as, as, a, as a frosh and how momentous it was for me this time of amazing learning and social awareness, consciousness raising about what it meant for me to be a first generation college student, uh, Mexican American, um, with parents and family born in the US and born in Mexico. Um, before there was a US-Mexico border, uh, my lineage goes way back and how important it was to take classes um, in American history, uh, race and ethnicity classes, classes about uh, Chicanas, uh, women of color, and I became an American studies major for that reason, and how important it was for me to be grounded in the, the knowledge uh, that was relevant to the formation of who I was as a human being and, and figuring out my place in society and how I'd been placed in society given all of those different identities and social locations and so what I was remembering was spring quarter and having a little black and white television that was about I don't know maybe six inches in diameter eight inches in diameter that my parents had left with me my first day uh, when they when they dropped me off and it wasn't often that I got to turn on the TV because I was very busy, immersed in my schoolwork. That, uh, but one day I did happen to turn on the TV, and it was during the time that uh, the Rodney King police trial um, had had been announced, where the policemen who were videotaped, um, you know, violently kicking and hurting Rodney King. Were, were acquitted and given the knowledge I had ha I had learned in my classes and understanding the legacy of racism, of violence, the foundations of our country linked to these difficult histories and the complexity had really challenged me to think critically about our social institutions and the ways that we really needed a, a real democracy, you know, a, we needed a way to to um, be able to to have knowledge where we could critically understand the, the historical context of what was going on. And so uh, right at that time, right outside my window, I lived in Arroyo dorms, and right outside my window there was actually a protest that had started forming, and um, lots of students, and mostly students of color, were marching down the street to to protest uh, what was widely seen as part of uh, injustice in, in um, you know our supposedly uh, you know equality for all in the country. So it was this moment of, of really coming to understand the um, the importance of history, the importance of learning beyond you know our, our high school educations our high school textbooks or even our mainstream media um, and so that next day there was a larger protest or the, within the next few days that led from the Stanford campus through downtown Palo Alto and it was that moment of truth for me of deciding you know was I just going to be an observer um, and just keep my head in the books or was I going to also participate in having my voice be heard and in and in ideally, you know, furthering more awareness and consciousness and asking for for more public awareness and and uh, you know and, and to feel okay. I think also voicing anger where where before being taught to be a good student, you know, or a good citizen had been focused on, you know, listen, be quiet, assimilate, you know, take the ideas in. But this was a switch for me to know that there was also a place and, and a legacy of speaking out when you saw an injustice, you know, when you have questions. Um, 
and when you're asking for different institutions and people in leadership positions to be held accountable. So that was a, a momentous time my first year as a, as a college student. That was very formative for me. And I was very pleased a few months ago when the Stanford Alumni Magazine featured um, student activism on campus. And unfortunately, the kinds of um, uh, history of police brutality and other forms of violence against uh, racialized men, especially, but people of color communities has persisted. But I was very pleased to see that the voices speaking out against injustice also persist. So I wanted to share that story because I think it's a very important part of what it means to come into the world open to learning new things and being moved to participate in a public way.